Hello and welcome to Top 10 Features of Pathwave ADS 2021. In this video series, we are looking at all the new and great enhancements done in the latest ADS release. This video is on VR Designer enhancements. There are plenty of new improvements in the VR Designer utility in ADS. Now you can get results up to very, very high frequency due to the port accuracy improvements done, which is well beyond 30 gigahertz range. You could create VR arrays uh, for creating parallel net routing. We now support teardrop, conical lasered VRs for, for micro VR kind of applications. Also for higher frequency concepts such as diving board is now supported. At the end of the VR designer uh, execution, you can create a very accurate parameterized DM model, which then can be used in your pre-layout simulation environment for end-to-end -end channel simulation analysis. To set the perspective, let me first show you. Um, here is the typical um, you know, end-to-end -end channel response. And I do have two instances created out of VR Designer. And right now, it's they are not parametric models. That means I haven't assigned any variables to it. But in case you decide to do a parametric VR uh, modeling in VR Designer, you will have those parameters uh, along with these components for you to change. And after you perform a you know, channel simulation with crosstalk or whatever condition you set with your own equalization AMI model, you can look at the overall channel behavior with the confidence that the VR design is accurately capturing the VR distortions, VR to VR coupling, and so on. So this allows designers to do pre-layout channel analysis with much higher degree of confidence. Now let's take a look at the VR designer interface and where and how to use those capability. So the part to VR designer is pretty simple. Once you are in the stack up editor window, you can click on this icon here to start VR designer interface or go to tools VR designer. Once you are in VR designer interface, you can set the layers as per signal or plane rule as per your stack up. And accordingly, this GUI will start changing. The good thing about ADS VR Designer is when you have these GUI driven models here. So by changing the, the parameters here, you can see uh, the GUI starts changing. So virtually you don't re need to do any GUI based editing or complex 3D editing to create your VR models. Now, once you define your substrate, you can go to VR tab, uh, define the micro VR configuration if you want to add it on the top side or on the bottom side. And then depending upon the amount of micro VRs, you need to add, you can keep clicking on this button and you can see you can add more and more micro VRs. Now to set this um, orientation correctly, let me first go to feed and change this orientation to zero degree and 180 degrees so that we can see the transition going in and coming out properly. Now let's come back to the barrel. That's where we were assigning micro VR. So here you can see currently default, both micro VRs are on the same layer. And that's the reason because we set it that way. So the first micro VR is going to be a notch top. The second micro VR I would like to be in the ground plane. And now you can see you have the micro VR already placed. Now the drill barrel will start from the third layer, which is signal one layer in my case. So you can see top, GND1 and SIG1. And once you start making those changes, you can see the geometry gets modified. So it's very, very simple to create micro VRs here. Now by default, the micro VR is of cylindrical type as you can notice in this case. However, by going to micro VR tab here, you can completely uh, decide the way you want the micro VR to be, the connection, the length of the micro VR segment and so on. Now you can see it just now created a conical micro VR for application. And you can change this connection length depending upon your requirement. For example, if I change it to 20, you can see the micro VR length get changed. And also rest of the plenty of options for you to play around. Now in terms of pad stack, you can also um, define a differential VR, for example, with a single click now, you have a differential VR configuration. You can merge anti-pad and then those anti-pads will be merged and so on. So all those uh, nice features are, are pretty much there for you to easily come up with your own VR design. 
Now, this was about microvia. Now, let me quickly talk about uh, something called as VIA. Now, here I have a single via, whether it is single ended or differential, it's, it's your choice. Let's say if I have a differential via, for example, now I will have a parallel traces to route and I would like a via array to be created. So using the via array tab, I can come up with the desired number of section, let's say two vias, you know, three via array and all that. So again, the, the attributes of this VI array can be controlled. You can play with the spacing. You can see X is zero. That means all of them are in the same X orientation. But if you want to create certain offset, let's say 50 mil, you can specify that parameter. And now these VRs will have offset in the X axis. And here, if I look from the top C direction, you can see the offset created in the X axis. Similarly, you can play with these values and even you can parameterize. How you want the, the ground stitching vias to appear, that can be also controlled. You can have a single line of ground stitching vias or you can activate it only for one of the instances, like here, for example. I would like ground stitching vias only for the central piece so I can activate it for instance too and things like that. So complete flexibility. I will leave you to play with more options here once you get hand off the latest ADS release. Now, all the things or all the parameters, as you know already, if you have used VI designer can be parameterized. For example, you can attach a variable here and under the variable definition window, you can perform a sweep analysis so that after your simulation, if you decide to create a cell out of it, you will have the full parametric 3D EM model. And VR Designer has a full 3D FEM simulator inside, which is used to perform the simulation. So you get a very high accuracy result here. So in my case, I already have a VR Designer file, which I just created for three um, you know, VI arrays, and these are differential VIs. And you can see I already perform a simulation for a complex geometry such as this with multiple ground plane. It only took 10 minutes on my laptop, and once simulation is finished, I can look at the S parameter response for this VI design, or I can activate the TDR response and look at the TDR plot for my VIA design. And once I'm satisfied, I would like to use this VIA for my pre-layout end-to-end channel design. I can just click this icon, export it as a cell. And once I have it as a cell, it will appear in the ADS project workspace. And here you can see I have an EM model and a symbol associated with it. And this is what I was using in my channel simulation schematic to perform end-to-end -end design. So hope you like the new enhancements done in VR Designer and would like to give it a try for your own design and move to ADS 2021 for better user experience. Thanks a lot for watching this tutorial. See you in the next video.